Hey guys, how's it going? Star Machine here. We're doing bad lip reading today because I had some problems recording this and my commentary didn't get recorded. At least the audio from the game got recorded though. So I'm doing a voiceover. Let's see how this goes. Finishing off the Undertales, trying to finish this game. It's kind of ADD and playing a lot of games, but I want to get this one completed. Sans, what are you up to? I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope, yes or no? Well, come back whenever you want. How's about it? Yeah, let's use it. Use it. Red spot. Oh, I see this red spot. Huh? You're satisfied? Don't worry, I'll give you a full refund. <laughs> pink eye. You get me pink eye, dude? Use the box. Inventory. Let's sort some stuff. Got that old tutu. Putting on the old tutu again. You'll see why in a little while. Yeah, it's so much problem recording this. It's such a pain. I had to play through this part a couple times, so. Kinda know what I was doing by this point. I relocated my store, but there's still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Yeah, the stock up nice cream. It's a frozen treat that everybody loves. Super, here you go. Cards in the box. I'm gonna stock up. Got all this money burning a hole in my pocket. Two bugs in a box are playing a four card game. Take a card. Nah, let's leave them. Let the bugs have the game. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Flavor, flavor. What is this star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Yeah, I'm a mother frickin' star boy. Duck. Goose. Quacka. Quacka lacking. Oh, by the lily pads. Echo flowies. Exploring. It's a pair of ballet shoes. That'll go perfectly with my tutu. Heck yeah. Ballet shoes. Weapon attack seven. These used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. It's a weapon. Sure. My feet are a deadly weapon. Some way better than Toy Knife. Seven versus three. Major upgrade, dude. Thanks. Yoink. Echo flowers. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm. Just one, but it's kind of stupid. Then. Mud small. Spiram. Spiram. So she can eat them. Look like jello. Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus! Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. I am not a cruel person. I strive to be comforting and pleasant. Papyrus, he smells like the moon. So because of my inherent goodness, I told her you were not wearing a dusty tutu, even though you told me you were. Instead, I made something up. I told her you were wearing a faded ribbon, which I was wearing. It pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. I know you would never wear a faded ribbon, but your safety is more important than fashion. Dang. I just want to be friends with everyone! Click. Well, that's what we were wearing on our date. Papyrus, tease. 
Why don't you do that to me? Here, passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. What is it? What is your wish? Now I want to know. Aaron flexes in. Alright, Aaron's dying time. Looks like you're getting smacked up with my dancing shoes. Ooh, I'm sweaty. Don't get your perspiration on me. Yuck. Smells like a muscle farm. Smack attack. Education, hobby, talent. Triple threat. Ugh, sweaty monster. Aaron is admiring his own muscles. Admire his own deadness here. What? Turn into dust. Give me that sweet XP. NGP. The power to take their souls. This is the power that humans feared. Oh, Nessie's coming after me. She's coming for me. Cutscene. Hey, there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you're here? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but hey, hey that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay. You hear? I'm not gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. And waterfall! Oh, fight time. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you. You hum a funky tune. Shiren follows your tune. Shiren seems much more comfortable singing along. Oh, what a fishy lady. She's got a fish, fish, fish fins flapping on her face. This fin's flapping on her face, lady. What's up with that? The northern room hides a great treasure. And a really annoying puzzle. A hunting song echoes down the corridor. Once you play along, only the first eight night notes are fine. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes or no? Eventually, I figure out how to play the notes. I don't know what the tune is, though. Even then, I'm not that great by, at playing my ear, so... It might be a lost cause. I'm gonna skip ahead some. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb the soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Oh, poor rained on statue. It's a statue. The structure at its feet seems dry. Please take one. Take an umbrella. Umbrella, umbrella. Yeah, I should have gone back for the statue. I don't know. Hopefully I get a chance to do that later. Yo, you got an umbrella, that's awesome! Let's go! Okay, it 
doesn't walk close enough to stay and try. Man, I'm not so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was going to beat me up. Ha ha. So one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how could, would it, cool would it be if one nine came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. So cool, dude. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Castle. Look at that. That's real nice. Guess that's the way home. Is he going to say anything? What? Yeah, that's a nice castle. Turn the umbrella. Yeah, that's a good idea. That didn't work so well in China. They actually had a thing where they tried giving out, like, uh, umbrellas. You could, like, rent them, but nobody ever returned them. All the umbrellas went missing. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Wow, strong little dude. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Falls on his face immediately. Of course you do. Easy point. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked us suddenly and without mercy. But I like mercy. She's a good character. And Overwatch, in the end... It could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters were too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned into dust. The sound of muffled rain on the cave top fills you with determination. Let me guess. Yes, it does. Well, guys, thank you very much. It's been Story Machine playing Undertale. Made some progress here. Forward progress, good stuff. Gonna go see Undyne, make our way through the castle. Don't know if we'll get to go back to check out that statue and that puzzle. Hoping we do, because I think I know how to do it now. I've read a little bit. I've been trying not to read any wikis, no spoilers, but I had to give up on that because I'm kind of tone deaf. Anyway, thank you very much. Have a good time.